everybody, my name is Amanda, and welcome to my living room. And by my living room, I just mean one small corner of it, a little bit of this couch, those paintings over there, and me. Thank you for clicking on this video. Hello everybody, my name is Amanda, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I decided to do another chit chat with Amanda because I couldn't think of anything else. And I decided, oh, why not? Let's talk about more things that will put me in an existential crisis. Last time, in an amount of time ago, I talked about the future. But to keep that theme going, I decided, let's talk about the past. Because the past is what shapes us, it's what keeps us up at 3 a.m. thinking about that one thing we did in 2011 that we really regret, don't want to think about, and that haunts our brain every time we're trying to get just a little bit of shut eye. No, I did not do something stupid in 2011 that keeps me up at night. But then for the past is also filled with a whole bunch of people, and it's also filled with a lot of people that we think about. But what I've been thinking about is... What if you didn't do enough in the past? And my friend talked about this too. Like, what if you didn't make an impact? What if you didn't do anything? What if you didn't do enough? What if you're not remembered? Because I've lost um, so many people over the years. Whether they moved schools, we just drifted, or we got into a heated argument or something like that. I've lost so many people. But... Not a lot of them were really close friends, so I wasn't affected drastically by them, and most of the time it was, like, drifting. But I'm just wondering how many of those people remember me and how many of those people actually, like, have memories with me that they talk about. Because when I'm talking with my friends and I'm talking about, like, some memory or, like, some cool thing that happened, normally, if it's really old, it's going to contain some old older people, and not by older as in like, oh my gosh, sagging wrinkles, oh, I'm bold, oh, my butt's flat, old. But old as in people that used to be in my life and aren't in my life anymore. And it makes me think. <sighs> Are those people talking about me? Like, do I have wonderful memories with these people that they are constantly remembering and bringing up and thinking, oh, that was a great time, or like, oh, I had an amazing time with Amanda. But then, do they forget about me, or did I leave a negative impact? Do people think, oh, a man is a little <coughs> or oh, a man is a <coughs> like, those words. Like, do people say that about me? I, I found out, I think during a second trimester, yeah, it was during second trimester of my freshman year that somebody was talking bad about me and like I just brushed it off I was a little agitated because this girl had brought up an issue that had happened years ago that had happened in elementary school I'm in high school now I'm I'm in high school now I know I don't act like it but I'm in high school now she brought up an issue that happened years and years and years ago and something that I've learned to do is to get over the past because if you because you have to keep moving forward you have to keep going you have to keep doing these things but I thought it was strange how this girl had brought up an issue that happened in elementary school and I'm just thinking what the heck what the actual heck because why would you bring up something that was that old? Why would you bring up something that happened that long ago when you are in high school? And should get over it. I didn't confront her. I didn't do any of that kind of stuff because I hate drama and I did not want to get involved in any of that. And no one's talked behind my back in... Never mind, it happened twice my freshman year, but... Other than that, it's never happened, so I was like, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just going to let it go, because I was being the bigger person. I mean, look, I'm 5'11", 5'10"-ish. I don't know what I was doing this for. I think I was calling myself fat and not realizing it. Do you ever do that? <clears throat> so, the past, as I said, it's what shapes us, like that Ed Sheeran song. I'm in love with the shape of you. You push and pull like a magnet too. 
Oh, my heart is falling too. It's what makes us into the person we are. And always a person, it's really hard to change what you have been influenced by all these people, influenced by all these decisions, influenced by all these events. It's really hard to change your mindset. In my mindset, there are certain beliefs I have that are set in stone and there are certain things, certain characteristics I possess that others don't because of like the way I was raised or the people that influenced me. For example, I know sometimes I say I'm antisocial. I literally have a shirt that says, I'm not antisocial, I just don't like you. True. Because I feel as though I'm an extrovert. I can talk to people very easily. I go to a summer camp at Blue Lake. By the way, quick note, this is important. I am going to be gone at Blue Lake the 27th through the 8th. Um, 27th of June through the 8th of July and then I am Mar I have a drum major camp after that and then I have a trip to North Carolina after that at Blue Lake there is no technology allowed and at drum major camp there is absolute there you can have your phone but there's absolutely no time for me to record and sit down a bit sit down and have a video I will try to have a video ready but if not that is about three weeks of me not uploading, so if you are curious, then this is going to be my last video before I leave, because I leave next week on the 27th. So, that's a quick, that's an important note to remember. Now, back to that. I can easily talk to people. I think it is incredibly easy to just start conversations with people. I mean... It's just kind of like, hi, I just, I'm just being myself. I know that sounds like a cheesy, like, Disney hashtag relatable line, but that's what I do. I be myself. I don't smile in every picture ever. I don't do duck lips or, like, in every picture. But I make the stupidest faces. Have you seen the end of my videos? I put the dumbest face that my friends have taken on me. I've taken on myself. I put the dumbest ones I can find, and those are at the very end of my video. And if you haven't been paying attention, pay attention. So, the past, to end this video, I'm going to say that don't let the past drag you down. Don't get hooked on the past and obsessed over it. Learn to move over obstacles because everybody has obstacles in their past. Everyone has something hard that they have to get over. And then look forward to the future, but make sure you're living in the present camera cut out, but at least I got to finish that last cheesy, really stupid thing. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button down below, turn on my post notifications, and even though I won't be uploading for about three weeks, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye!